Hey everybody. So, <clears throat> uh, here comes another video of me bitching about my team, uh, the Yellow Jackets, of course. And, you know, <laughs> sorry I'm making so many videos bitching about my team, but I mean, what else is there to do? It seems like since the, you know, season ended that, uh, the bad news would kind of stop. I was thankful once the season was over. <laughs> What a fool I was, uh, because it's gotten nothing but worse uh, uh, since the, since it's been over, and you know we've taken hit after hit after hit, and you know I didn't realize it at the time, but that was the last time that I was going to see that is during the season, even when we were getting blown out, uh, that was the last time I was going to get to see that team um, all together with everybody that, you know, all the, all my players that I liked and, and coaches and now everybody's gone, uh, for better, or for worse. Um, but most of them are gone. And anyway, so the reason I'm making this video, not, not that there's necessarily any bad news. Um, we hired a new linebackers coach, uh, Jason Seymour. Look, and look, I've never heard of the guy. He's from Valdosta state. Apparently, they're pretty good. He was their defensive coordinator. Um, so, that's crazy. That's great. Um, that's awesome and all. Um, but, so, it's not exactly a bad thing. You know, whenever you hire a new coach, there's kind of an excitement to see, you know, maybe what they could kind of bring to the table. But, it, it's it's not, so it's not that. It's, it's that we've been lied to again, haven't we? By Jeff Collins, who said... Uh, that Andrew Thacker was getting demoted, that would be our defensive coordinator, wouldn't it? And that's exactly what I said, um, you know, should happen. I, I, I didn't, the whole time that I, we were getting blown out and everything, uh, that is defensively, you know, I kind of didn't really hate Andrew Thacker. I didn't think he should be in charge of the defense, but... I was like, you know, I watched his interviews. I didn't hate the guy. Dave Patton and I couldn't care less, to be honest. Um, but, you know, Andrew Thacker, he seemed to know his stuff and maybe just in an in over his head. Um, and plus, our he was the linebackers coach. So he was our defensive coordinator and linebackers coach. And the linebackers played pretty well. So I, so I thought the move demoting him to just uh, linebackers coach was a great move. Well, turns out uh that was a lie he's not getting demoted he's now going to be the sole defensive co now he can take now he doesn't have all the responsibilities of a linebackers coach because we brought in somebody from Valdosta state and now andrew thacker can focus solely on the defense um which was it's like the linebackers were one of our strong strengths on the defense the d-line and the linebackers played pretty good I mean, they didn't play horrible. They weren't lights out or anything, but they weren't like the huge problems. And, and you know, it seems like a failure to adjust and, and whatnot uh, to anything that the other team was running offensively. Uh, that and the fact that we were giving up hundreds and hundreds of passing yards uh, was really our downfall on defense. And now we have, okay, we've got rid of our safeties coach. Uh, well, now we brought in Marcus Tillman and, or I think that's his, I know his name's Tillman. I, I forget his first name. It might be Marcus. I don't know. But bring him in and he comes from Michigan State with the worst passing defense in the country. That doesn't get me excited. And, and it's like, yeah, he's a good track record, which is what everybody, you know, all the tech fans keep saying. And look, I, I feel kind of bad when I do these bitching videos, like, like, you know, I go on Twitter and, and, you know, I read a lot of Georgia Tech fans and everything, and a lot of them are able to stay positive and everything in these times, and and I just, I'm not capable of that. I, I'm, I, I'm past that, you know. I was for a while. I feel like I outlived most of them. I feel like, like, 90% of the fan base is just pissed off and have been for a long time, way before me. I'm there now, but it took a lot more. It took a lot more for me to get there uh, than than a lot of other uh, of the fan base. And but some of them, geez, they're just 
ugh. They're, they're just, you know, upbeat and positive no matter the situation. And I just, I just can't be that. I'm sorry. So, sorry about that. But anyway, I don't see this as a good move because I, I don't, I just, I'm not, I don't have any confidence in Andrew Thacker as a defensive coordinator. I was hoping that we, you know, make, go make, make a hire, which seems like nobody, you know, <laughs> that has a decent reputation, which Chip Long did not, uh, would want to come onto the staff that's about to get fired the next year if we don't, whatever standards they've set, which is make a bowl probably. Uh, tell you this right now, if we make a bowl next year, I still won't be happy. Uh -huh. But anyway, that's another video. But uh, look, yeah, we got a new linebackers coach. I, I'm not stoked about it. To be honest, I thought Andrew Thacker was going to be the linebackers coach. I thought that's where he should be. And look, amidst amidst Jameer Gibbs uh, leaving, entering the transfer portal, and I was just heartbroken. Amidst all that, I even said when he demoted Andrew Thacker, you know, I wanted him fired everything. I said this was a good move to just demote Andrew Thacker, but you know, he can stay around. And well. Now, now, now he's not demoted. Now he's a defensive coordinator still, and I just I don't think that's right. And I mean, granted, you know, I said that it would be it was too late for him to do that. I think it's too late for all these coach changes. Uh, probably should have been done last year, and then we could have come into this year and really had um, some improvements. But too late now. The clock's ticking, and. I don't think we're making the right moves uh, defensively. Uh, this, I, it, I'm, I'm going to be honest. None of the hires really are inspiring confidence. We picked up a couple out of the transfer portal. Picked up uh, Zach Gibson from Akron. Look, I mean, I heard he's okay. I, have, I haven't watched a down at Akron football. Um, I'm sure I will in the offseason. I'm sure I'll find time in the offseason to go watch his highlights. Or, you know, well, probably want to watch more in the highlights to see what he's got. But Akron was pretty decent this year. We got him, so there'll be a little bit of maybe quarterback competition in there with Jeff Sims. I think he needs that. You know, I think Jeff Sims will probably get the starting job, but, you know, it's good to have competition. Uh, we got a new quarterback coming in. And uh, some other stuff going on uh, that I'll maybe talk about. But anyway, just wanted to bitch for a minute. See ya.